Okay guys, so this video is going to be about constants. So once you've defined your independent variable and your dependent variable, we need to define here, we'll, we'll make that plural. We need to find a couple of constants. Now constants are things that stay the same in each trial. Okay, so we know that we're intentionally changing the independent variable. Hopefully that's causing a change in the dependent variable because we're going to measure that change. But then there's going to be some things that are important to keep constant. And here's a really good way to think about it. All right, I like to think of this. What could mess up my results? So if we think about, um, constants are going to be things that if they accidentally don't keep, don't stay the same, they could mess up how much you could trust your results. So in my car example that I did for you on the board, if I'm trying to figure out which, which car gets the best gas mileage, there are some things that can mess up my results. So, for example, maybe the number of passengers in my car. Number of passengers. If I don't have the same number of passengers in the car every trial, then I'm not going to get as accurate results as I want. Um, another thing could be like type of road. Um, so obviously if I'm driving the car on a highway one time, but then on a gravel road another time, then I'm not going to be able to compare those things that I measure. Um, so constants are, we have to think ahead and think about what could screw up my results if I don't keep them exactly the same for every trial. Um, so I want you to think about those and I want you to come up with at least four, four constants, um, and then get those written down on your page. If you have questions, again, make sure you come and ask me.